Hey guys, today big, big changes up at the daycare center. Want to check it out? Look at this video. Well, hey guys, Jeff here, Project Next One. Thanks so much for tuning back in. Boy, have we got some awesome stuff gonna be happening today. Today, we're headed back up to the daycare center and we are going to be doing some painting up on that roof. As you know, all of the shingles that used to be there have all gone and we replaced it all with new metal, but there was one section that had brand new metal already on it. It was just this shade of green. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna turn that green to the brown today. You want to see something really cool? We're going to be using a Graco Magnum X5. That is an unbelievably awesome sprayer to see that bad boy in action. Guys, it's awesome. So anyway, I'm headed up there now. Just got my ladder and everything loaded up and we are getting ready to head that way. So come on guys, let's go get busy. Okay guys, this is the area I was telling you about. All of the metal up top is new except for this one section. This had been replaced um, not that many years ago and it is just still in fantastic shape. There was no need in doing the expenditure. So we are just gonna turn this from this color green to this color brown. Uh, they were able to do, we took a piece of metal over, they did a paint match, they've already mixed it up, and we're gonna get busy spraying here very shortly. I'll tell you about that, but one thing I wanna share with you is this is the first time I've used this product. I've seen it on YouTube, but on some of the videos, but I've never dealt with it. And it's this tape that has the plastic on it. And as my son pulls this out, I'll show you how it works. It comes in a roll, and all you do is just unroll it and then and you stick it with the tape and then you just pull it up like this and what we're doing for us is we're going to just tape it off so we're just wanting to keep the overspray down not to get on any of this but this is the first time i've ever used this and boy the man who invented this he ought to be a millionaire by now because he deserves it this is talk about make your job easier you can get this just in the paint section at Home Depot or Lowe's, and uh, this works great. Goes on easy. So like if you guys were going, having a, uh, an accent wall in your house, and you wanted to tape off where the corners is, uh, especially if you were spraying, you could do this up a wall. If you were rep uh, repainting your ceilings, you could run this right up the top edge, spray your ceilings and not get the overspray on the sides. There's so many great applications for this. And you can see it just goes on easy as pie. So anyway, we're gonna finish taping off this one section. Uh, we're already got, I'll, I'll go over with you guys here shortly, the Graco sprayer. Uh, we've already got that all ready to rock and roll. We just gotta get the paint, get it primed. We'll go, I'll do the video when we're priming it. And then uh, I'll show you about the extension that we got to make painting standing up easy. So, you know me guys, let's get busy.
Well, we had to take a short break because we ran out of paint. But now we're restocked back up and we're getting things hooked back up and we are going to finish. We've got from here to here to go. And also, let me come down the ladder a little bit. And we're also going to do all of this right here the same color as well. So we got a few hours. Well guys, fast forward a couple of days and man, I want to show you the final results of this. Boy, as you saw in the video, uh, day before yesterday, we were fighting the weather. You know, when we started, uh, the weather forecast was for less than, it's like an 8% chance of rain. It was supposed to be beautiful all day. And where those storms come from, I have no idea. And man, we were nervous because of just getting all the paint on the roof. But we did some research. Uh, it said as long with oil-based paint, as long as you had it put it down for at least two hours and it had sunshine on it, which we did, uh, it had already firmed up beyond tacky and it held up great. So I want to swing the camera around and show you. So if you guys will remember, the fascia boards used to be green. Uh, the soffits underneath were a creamy beige, and then this wood finish underneath was a real red color. So we brought all of that color around and tied everything together. We got all of this work done uh, from front to back, all on this side, uh, as well as uh, you've seen earlier, we did uh, all of the section here. Now, all of this was new metal uh, on this side, and so it was crazy to replace it. Uh, it would have probably been in excess of five thousand dollars to to resheet this and we were we painted it for less than 500 so that's kind of like duh no brainer so anyway guys uh this part's done and so the next phase will be getting rid of all of this creamy so we've got uh this will end up being three different colors the roof is obviously the darkest color we've got some trim pieces that are up high that are like vinyl siding that'll be done a little bit darker color than this and then we will go, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. This will be the darkest color. The vinyl siding will be like three shades lighter. And then the, the color that they picked for this will be like three shades lighter than that, all in the same family of this brown. So we are excited about getting the paint mixed up for that. Uh, the weather we've got, uh, I think it's Hurricane Ian, and my th I think that's right, of Ivan is coming up and we're supposed to get bad weather all this coming weekend. So it'll probably be the weekend after before we get back to get this part painted. I can't wait to get this done and get rid of all of this creamy be yellowy beige. Can't wait for that to be gone. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the final on what this looks like. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more. And as you guys are seeing, we got lots of projects lining up and just lots of great things to get done. So thanks so much for following along with the channel and tuning in. And guys, just keep your eye out. If you will, be sure to grab the notifier so you don't miss any episodes. And we will have a lot more coming soon. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And we'll catch you later.